Sipokot North Central School is strategically located along the Maharlika Highway at Impig Sipokot Kamarinisor with a distance of 1 km from the town proper. It occupies an area of 58,453 square meters, equivalent to 5.85 hectares, bounded on the north by Barangay Altesa, on the east by Barangay Malobago, on the south by Barangay North Central, and on the west by Barangay Azuzena. It is known of its landmark Gabaldon Building, built during American colonial era. On January 21, 1901 session of the Philippines Commission, a law was passed establishing a highly centralized public school system. Sipokot was placed under the Libmanan District together with Lupi and Jagai, wherein Tamasite's educators were the founder. The difficulties suffered by the pupils traveling to Libmanan to attend class compelled the LGU of Sipokot to establish their own municipal school. In the school year 1932-1933, Impig Public School, which became Sipokot North Central School, was established. The first group of pupils was temporarily housed in Anipa House at Guzman's Lot at San Juan Avenue. The first teacher assigned was Fernando Anastasio in 1932-1933, followed by Agustin Loria, 1933-1934, Fabian Assis, 1934-1935, and Fernando Assisto, 1935-1936. This temporary house was destroyed by a strong typhoon, paving way for construction of a one-room semi-permanent building under the administration of the late Mayor Pablo T. Salazar. This building house holds only a class. The first teacher in this one-room building was Mariano de Mesa and Maria Balonso in the year 1936-1937. With the increase of enrollment the following year, two teachers were assigned. One was Lourdes Iscarilia. The Gabaldon Building, or also known as Anistea Hall, was the first building constructed occupied by Grade 1 and Grade 2, after the temporary house was destroyed by strong type. Gabaldon Type School Buildings is a schoolhouse built in the Philippines between 1907 and 1946, follows standard plans designed by architect William Parsons. The design is patterned after the Bahay Kupu, suited for tropical countries. It is a single-story structure with an elevated ground floor and large awning windows with capiche-shelled panels and wooden frames. Its flooring is made of TNG wood planks. It has a corrugated iron roof sheeting, central porch and wide stairs. An HRU symmetrical plan is observed. This building is standing strong and continuously making histories, memories, and learnings.
Welcome to the historic place of Sipokot North Central School. Mabuhay! Thank you. 
School building is a historic, architectural, and the social political significance in the Philippines. It is vital for the preservation and restoration of this architectural heritage that shaped the educational and spectrum in this country to maintain the beauty and greatness of this historical architecture building. With the ratification of the National Heritage Act of 2009, or RA-10077 and RA-11194, Sipokot North Central School Gabaldon Building has been qualified and funded for restoration. It was September 2020 when the construction started. It took six months before it was finally restored and back to its original structure. 
The newly renovated building was modified and patterned to its original design like Bahay Kubo, with a wide window made of capiz shell, high ceiling, and spacious corridors. SNCS Gabaldon Building was beautifully and artistically restored. This National Heritage Building of our school will continue to mark the history and educating the youth of our community. Continuously waving and sharing success, this school Gabaldon Building will always serve as the witness of the achievements, progress, and development of our school. Si Kwako, North Central School. Good afternoon. I am Mrs. Florenia Aldave de la Peña, a retired master teacher too. I taught here for almost 43 years. I entered last 1973 and retired last 2016. I have been a service awardee, both district and division level. I was one of the grade six teachers and advisor who occupied one of the rooms here. Ever since, Gabaldon Building has been the most memorable and remarkable place in Sipokot North Central School. Almost all the pupils who graduated here were able to step their feet in this building. It can be considered as the major building in those times, having large classrooms and its corridor or balconahi serves as the feel at home part. Although it's quiet huge, cleaning the classroom was fun for the pupils, smoothing the floor with banana leaves. This building was a place, not a school alone, but more of a home for learnings of the pupils that at the same time having fun playing at the pavement just in front of it. It was also the watch area for every pupil, attending and supporting school programs and activities, since its location was near the stage that made them academically excellent and active in extracurricular activities. The stage is now the Botanical Garden. Gabaldon Building played a very big part in our everyday lives, wherein the Sipokot North Central School singing group gather every afternoon after classes to harmoniously sing old love songs led by the late Mr. Oscar Reyes, the composer of the famous SNCS graduation song entitled SNCS Inspiration. Dito lang kami sagda, nag-iipon-ipon. We shared countless memories here, like choir singing, dancing, playing rondalia, pageant, caroling, scouting, trainings, and other school events, both historical and educational. We successfully trained and developed useful and productive leaders. To mention a few, we have Honorable Ex-Mayor Oji Astor, Honorable Ex-Vice Mayor Beth Abergos, and our incumbent Barangay Captain of Impig, Honorable Luis Perija Jr., and the Barangay Captain of North Centro, Honorable Jose Rubas, and many others. We were able to maintain happy and friendly relationship among the teaching staff and with the community. Sipukot North Central School sustained the good reputation because of the genuine love, care, and cooperation of ever-supportive teachers, parents, and pupils. I also witnessed how our own pupils became the next educators here, like Ma'am Bridget, Ma'am Mirna, Ma'am Marisa, Ma'am Suzette, Ma'am Cheryl, Ma'am Wing Ligo, Ma'am Rodilin, Ma'am Annalisa, Ma'am Virgie, Ma'am Gina, Ma'am Cynthia, Ma'am Divine, Sir Froilan, Sir Dennis, Sir Robert, Sir Auricio, at marami pang iba. I'm proud because I was once a part of their success. 
I can confidently say that the school is now entrusted in good hands and will persevere to pursue its advocacy. Si Pukot North Central School owns a big part of my heart. I was caught, I was caught off guard when I realized that I was about to retire. It saddens me a bit. However, I'm so thankful that I had been the best, that I had the best teaching career, which made my life better and transformed me into the best, into the best version of myself. I am overwhelmed upon knowing that the Gabaldon building will be preserved and restored to its original form because it is the trademark of Sipokot North Center School that contains a lot of happy, knowledgeable, and memorable memories to uphold and to cherish. Mabuhay ang Sipokot North Center School, our inspiration, and our dear alma mater. Hello, I'm Mrs. Minerva Barra Selahe, a former teacher of Sipokot North Central School. I spent the best years of my life as a teacher in that school for 42 years and retired last 2013. I've been out from the service for eight years already to now. When I set foot at the school, I was assigned as a grade six advisor till my retirement. My classroom was already the Gabaldon building, or we call it the main building. Only three rooms of the buildings were used as classroom because the other end was used as offices by the public schools district supervisor and the principal. Our pupils then were used to apply floor wax and scrub before going home in the afternoon, in and out of the room, so that the following day it would be ready for classes. The saddest part was when it rained the night before so that the floor that were left so shiny and ready for the next day was so wet in and out. The roof of the building were worn out already for our parents to repair it because of the height of the building. I remembered one of my pupils who became my co-teacher kept on telling me Nagdarakula na lang ang tabay ko kay ma'am. Dahi kami pinapapundo maglampaso hanggang dahi makintab ang salog. I can still remember during conferences our pupils then were so disciplined enough of what they should do. They know already their share of work the big boys were once assigned to dismantle the partition, some were scrubbing the floor, others were arranging the desk until the room was ready. There were no gadgets yet before. During the 70s, 80s, 90s, and the early part of 20s, so what we usually do is to gather at the ports of the Gabaldon to share our stories, sometimes group singing to ease our day's work.
Always Multicolor RV Oliban.